my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off with this whole Janie and Asian doll beef. This whole thing started off when former member of Sarati Janie decided to expose her baby daddy, Lil James, for messing around with multiple women in the industry. Cuban doll, fly tatted sky from Black Ink Crew, and Asian doll as well. Let's go ahead and get into her first post. This was Cuban doll. She said, "We got a thing for dolls. This big beef was on D2. These MFs love a dude with a newborn and a family. I swear." She also posted fly tatted sky and her baby daddy and she said this one was random no side tooth and all and she posted asian doll booed up with her baby daddy and she said but you sitting here worried about me go be with tooth body and leave me alone james i know the height difference is crazy good night i'm done y'all for real i was bored now child she called asian doll tooth body now you know that asian doll had to respond after janie was saying all of that about her she basically called her baby daddy a eater saying janie is a mother she needs to worry about being a mother and that it's not her fault that janie decided to have a baby with a guy who is a hoe and she also said the relationship between her and Lil james was not that serious she never seen Lil james after they recorded those videos and pictures well it looks like janie seems to think otherwise that asian doll and Lil james were actually serious and that asian doll was trying to downplay the relationship because she posted another video of the two and she said not you trying to downplay a relationship and trying to be cool you can lie to the internet but we both know the truth i don't kiss mfs on like that's too intimate little dirty keep shaking them hips though chow zania was all with it now later on after the shade room posted the live that asian doll was on zania posted and she said internet thugging i will beat blanks up in real life mfs play tough for an image she a real sweetheart tell shorty to drop low now child janie is acting like she's with it now i'm not saying that i know janie on a personal level but from what we see i wouldn't really think that she would be talking like this especially to asian doll because asian doll definitely seems like she's with it now later on little james actually decided to respond to this situation speaking about asian doll he said asian doll the aunt b stop lying you dirty hoe just saying anything to be cool b you ain't even have to to say nothing just keep it peace want to play internet games mind you dog a b not him calling her out of her name talking about her body after these two were all booed up child now janine decided to end everything off and she said i told my bd to leave me alone and stop posting me before i air out his business and that's exactly what i did I'm not a bitter baby mama i swear child so that's why janie decided to post all of these things this is what she's saying she wasn't being messy she's not bitter she decided to post it because her baby daddy was not leaving her alone so she decided to expose him now i don't think that she should have posted the pictures and videos of him with other females because obviously she was starting some beef with these other females if you're posting your baby daddy and these other celebrity women then of course the other celebrity women are going to speak out and say something but i guess janie like i said she was just with she it. didn't care who was getting the back end of the beef she was just going to put it out there because she was beefing with her baby daddy seems like janie and Lil james have been going at it for years hopefully these two can actually come to some type of common ground let's go ahead and move on to gunna shall we there's this video surfacing all over the place of an atlanta club and basically the club was all hype everybody was dancing having a good time but as soon as the dj decides to play gunna music the club decides to completely get still i mean nobody's dancing nobody's turning up anymore now i will have this video posted on my instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end make sure you follow me so you can check out that video because it has background music i can't necessarily play it but you guys can even see it without the audio everybody is just standing still while gunna's music is playing you can also hear the man in the background saying that the club was just hype until they played gunna's music this is what some people were posting on top of this video they said hey y'all the whole club just came to a complete stop when they played gunna that mf was thumping before that mf came on and of course people are laughing at the situation and they put the laughing emojis now it looks like people in atlanta of course are not really messing with gunna like that unfortunately now this is kind of confusing because gunna's new music video does have a lot of views i mean i think it's at 4 million right now and maybe it's mostly because people wanted to hear gunna's side of the story but even with hearing his side of the story like i said people are continuously feeling like gunna snitched and he's a rat and that they don't want to mess with him even his hometown atlanta They're not messing with his music 
anymore unfortunately from what i see in this club y'all let me know how y'all feel about that bobby Schmurda decided to recently speak out about rap music and how he feels like it's negatively affecting the younger generation these generations to come let's go ahead and get into what he said he said you got these effing kids following you guys and you're effing rapping about lifestyles it's endangering and very detrimental very dangerous to the community and these kids thinking that this is what's going on that you did not live i think rap is supposed to be telling a story to go from negative to positive coming from poverty and going to riches and stuff like that and how to stay in that and how to change that it. is the ish i want to hear i want to hear about living life that's why i don't listen to rap for real i don't listen to rap i don't know nothing about rappers only time i listen to rap is when i go to the club and i just dance to anything so bobby schmurder is letting it be known he does not listen to rap no more himself because he feels like it's negatively affecting everyone and i have to agree with bobby murdered not too long ago nba young boy even did an interview where he spoke out about his own music and he realized how his own music was negatively affecting a lot of kids and what they were doing and what they were believing so I can definitely understand where Bobby Shmurda is coming from. I think everybody is coming to this awakening about music and about energy because music definitely carries energy. It can carry calm energy. It can carry loving energy or it can carry some very negative energy and some rap lyrics carry very negative energy and it very much does influence a lot of kids a lot of teenagers to do some messed up stuff because they're looking at these lyrics they're listening to these lyrics and they're thinking okay this is what my favorite rapper is doing so i want to do the same thing subsequently and it never turns out really that great that's why we have so many and i can't even say the word but boom boom booms going on these days because everybody thinks that having a g-u-n is cool just to have it when in reality it should just be for your protection and that's it not to play with not to have fun not to show off not to feel like you're tough okay anywho let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be g herbo yes g herbo made a quick post and delete and he said i'm single yes g herbo posted on his insta story real quick and he said i'm single but then he deleted it after so who knows if g herbo was playing if he was serious but he said that he's single child meaning that him and tyena had broken up you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section my lovely tts let me know what you think about all of these topics once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night
we just got well I gotta see